Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the editor-in-chief over at theserverside.com. You can follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ. And I'm just super happy that we finished off all of these tutorials. And, you know, the cherry on top of all these tutorials is to put a tag on our latest release candidate. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do here. How to add a tag to a commit in GitLab. As with all things, it starts with logging into the GitLab administrative web console. Once I'm in there, I can take a look at my GitLab made easy project. And once I'm into the project, I'm going to look at the repository and specifically the branches. And I'm pretty happy with where I am right now. I've merged master into release. Uh, I've got my hotfix and develop branch. I haven't used them in a while. I've deleted all of my feature branches, so I no longer have the fun feature branch around. Everything looks good, and I'm really happy with the progress that I've made so far. And you know, to celebrate that happiness, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to tag this release. And so I'm going to go into this tag section here, and I'm going to create a new tag, and I'm going to say, you know what, I am really happy with the last commit on the release branch. I'm going to create a new tag, and I'm going to call it 1.0.0 RC. Point one. That's going to be my release candidate name. The message will be git and git lab examples complete. Got to spell it correctly. Put a little release note in there and then finally click on that create tag. Now, the thing about tags in Git, and it's not just GitLab, but it's in Git as well, is that they're just metadata. And so you can see right here, DC048D, that's just a, a commit. And that commit is just now kind of dressed up with some, some metadata. So you can actually see here all of the stuff that went into that commit. But if you actually go in and take a look at the branch, take a look at this release branch, uh, even though we added that tag to it, if you'd look for the history, you know, I don't, even, don't think you really even see that that information that it's tagged. I mean, that's the commit ID of the tag. That, that's the commit ID of the commit that we applied the tag to. But yeah, you know, you can't really see anything just in this history here about that tag. But if you do go into this list of tags here, you will see that indeed we've got that Git and GitLab's complete tag. The tag name there again don't start it with a V because it's kind of a, a bad practice um, and we now have a little bit of metadata added to our rich release history so that if anybody wants to go in and take a look at a tag or search for a tag or even do some troubleshooting based on a, a certain date based on when this first release tag was added it's possible for them to do that and there you go that's how you create tags in GitLab and there you go. That's how easy it is to create a tag in, in GitLab. Really couldn't be simpler. Anyways, if you want to learn more about GitLab, um, maybe even go into some of the continuous integration angles on what GitLab does, go over to the server side. Lots of tutorials over there on GitLab, on continuous integration in general, a variety of DevOps tools, lots of stuff on Git. And of course, we are the server side. So anything that has to do with microservices, enterprise development databases, we cover it. And also, I'd be happy if you followed me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ.